Steve Denise, I'm Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Pride Seeds, and today we're standing in a plot of PS0753 R2 yield, Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans. And PS0753 is a brand new variety to the Pride Seeds lineup, but it's shown some excellent yield potential in the pre-commercial trials, and so we're excited about bringing this variety along in time for the 2012 season. So as I mentioned, what we really like about this variety is the fact that we're, we're, we're starting to take advantage, really take advantage of the Roundup Ready to Yield genetics in this new variety. And that means that we're getting somewhere between six to 10% higher yield than we were versus our Roundup Ready 1 technology, and that's being seen through more pods and more three, and as I'm showing here, four bean pods, which as producers we want to see in the field to get that yield potential higher. Because one of the concerns we've had of producers is how do we increase our soybean yields in the same way that we've been seeing on the corn yield side. So in terms of PSO753s then, to take advantage of the genetic potential, and genetic potential that we're seeing across a range of soil types and across a range of planting options from no-till to, to planting uh, conventional style, how do we take advantage of it? Well, first of all, we want to protect that yield potential. And so we can do that by combining Cruiser Max seed treatment with our PSO 753s. And Cruiser Max is going to give us outstanding disease protection coming out of the ground, as well as insect protection, not only of soil borne insects, but also things like bean leaf beetle and uh, as well as uh, aphids for that first uh, 60 days out of the ground. So we start with Cruiser Max on top of the core base genetics. So after we put the Cruiser Max on the bean seed, what we want to do that is make sure that we're starting out with a fundamental base so that we've got the, the nodules on our plant to produce a good bean crop. And we do that by looking at using high stick NT or high coat NT. And that is a third generation inoculant family that is giving us a good yield increase over traditional inoculants or other new inoculants that have come to the market. With high stick NT, we can do that either in the planter or we can order it with high coat pre inoculant, which means that the beans are coming to your farm with the inoculation already done. This makes things much simpler at planting, improves our efficiency, and gives us a very consistent treatment across our beans. It's a very beautiful sample after the pre-inoculation occurs. So that's taking advantage then if we look at the base genetics tied to the Cruiser Max and add on our pre-inoculation or inoculation at the planter with the high stick NT family, we're looking at the whole Pride FX2 system. And the Pride FX2 system combines those three components to break us through some of the barriers that we've seen on soybean yields and take us to that high higher yield plateau that we need to increase profitability on the farm. This is Steve Denise with Pride Seeds.